Today, I wanna to talk about a one-page five-year plan that I created, specifically what it is, how you can create one yourself, and why it can be a great alternative to a traditional five-year plan. So we've all heard about five-year plans. I'm guessing that by clicking on this video, you've probably made one yourself or you're thinking of making one. And don't get me wrong, five-year plans are awesome. There's a reason why they're so popular. But personally, I find that although it's really exciting and feels really productive when you're first writing them, once you finish writing them, they kind of get forgotten about and stored away, which is obviously not a good thing. You really want these plans to be as helpful as possible to give you the guidance and give you the best chance of actually achieving these goals. And writing one and storing it away is not gonna help any of that. So I thought to myself, why is this the case? And I think it really comes down to the fact that these traditional five-year plans are just so complicated. There's so much detail in there. And I think there's so much detail, it can almost become intimidating, especially if you start to fall behind on some of your tasks, because now you have five years worth of tasks you need to get back on track. And that can just feel like an absolute mammoth task. So it's easier just to store it away and forget about it. Now, the solution for me has been to create a one page five year plan. Now, obviously, there's no way on earth you can store all of the same information you would in a traditional five year plan all onto one page. But I think its power lies in the simplicity and the focus that it provides. And it really clearly lays out your goals and allows you to keep these front of mind. So enough talking, let's look at how you can create one yourself. So take a sheet of A4 paper and divide it into five sections. And then think to yourself, what titles do you want for each of these five sections? What are the five areas of your life that you would really want to work on, that you want to include in this plan? Now for me, I chose health, wealth, career, family, and fun. And I chose these for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I did lots of research into five-year plans and these five areas come up time and time again. There are a couple of other areas, things like spirituality, which sometimes come up, but arguably this could be put into the health or the mental health section. These five areas were by far the most common. And the second reason is that the more I think about it, these really are five key areas of life. And I think that if you're fulfilled in each of these five areas, you're gonna have a pretty fulfilled life. So these are the areas that I want to target. Now, your sections may be completely different, but this is what I'm working with. Once you have the five sections, think to yourself, what are three or four milestones that you would like to achieve in each of these sections at the end of that five year period? Now, I try to think big, but not crazy. I like to think that we overestimate what we can achieve in one year, but underestimate what we can achieve in five years. So I try to strike a balance between being ambitious, but being realistic at the same time. And that is the biggest challenge with doing this. You do have to try and strike that balance. I think if you are struggling with this, I would lean towards being ambitious rather than being realistic because at least that way the goal is more exciting and it's going to give you a little bit more motivation to actually go out and pursue that goal. Now, if you want, you can make these goals SMART goals. Now, if you don't know what a SMART goal is, I actually have a video about that on my channel. It's actually the first video I ever made, so that will be interesting to watch. But I wanted to keep this really flexible, so on my one-page five-year plan, I did not make my goals SMART goals. As I said, this is less of a how-to plan and more of a aspirational or motivational tool. So take some time and think through the five sections and what you would really like these sections to look like at the end of your five years. What type of job do you want? What about your family? What about your hobbies? Now, this doesn't have to take a lot of time, but I do suggest that you do take some time, sit down by yourself, set aside half an hour, an hour, and really think this through. And remember that no one else is ever gonna see this, so you don't need to worry about it being right or correct. This should be fun, so just try and enjoy it as well. Once you have your five sections filled with three or four milestones in each, your plan is finished. So now what you can do is you can take your plan, fold it up and store it somewhere where you're not gonna lose it, but at the same time you have access to it. Keep it secret, keep it safe. I store mine between my phone and my phone case because I'm always gonna be with my phone. Maybe you store it in your wallet or your handbag somewhere where you have easy access to it. Because now you have a tool that when you're feeling lost or you need a bit of motivation, you have this to hand to give you that direction, to remind you of your vision and give you a little bit of a push to spur you on. Now, I just wanna finish by saying that this is not something that's gonna affect your daily life. I do not look at my plan every day, far from it. 
But I have found that when I am feeling lost, when I do need to be reminded of my vision, having this one page five year plan so close is really helpful. It does give me that motivation and spur me on to chase those goals. I really hope you give it a go and that it's as helpful for you as it has been for me. Just a short video today. Really hope that was useful. It's been a pleasure and I will see you in the next video.